Welcome to another video. I am still here in this same hotel room that I've been now for about a week in Zanzibar, an island off of the east coast of Africa in Tanzania that you probably already know if you watched my previous videos. But today I am moving to the second most famous place here on the island called Nungui. I've been in Kendwa. Kendwa is arguably the best beach in all of Tanzania. It's what I've heard, and also Zanzibar. Uh, it's this really, really incredible beach that I've been going down to about every day now with um, some people that I met here um, in this hotel. But I have to pack my bag and head out because I need to be out of here at 10 a.m. And I have not booked a place to stay, so I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I might have to do that now on my phone, and then, um, or maybe I might just take a taxi over there and see where I end up. I might actually jump into the swimming pool one last time. The swimming pool here has been really, really incredible. <laughs> and um, yeah, I also did some double flips from the arch. There's an arch over here. <laughs> Swimming is one of the best things I know. It's so relaxing and also nice to cool off a bit. I somehow always accumulate a bit of stuff along the way. Like I started with just this bag, but now I have stuff in here also. And then at the end of every trip I have to throw away a bunch of stuff. Somehow you always accumulate so much stuff in life. The less things we have, the easier life is. <laughs> oh. But the bag is packed. Oh, this is my stuff, my computer, most electronics. A few t-shirts and some shorts, but that's it. So we're about to head out from here. Uh, still don't have a hotel booked, I don't know where I'm going. But we're gonna take the Dalla Dalla again and uh, <laughs> head out somewhere. We took the Dalla Dalla car again down to the beach and the north part of the island of Zanzibar. The water was so incredible and it had been really nice every single day since I had arrived. I'm laying here on the beach now, I got a bit tired, but I ended up buying two bracelets uh, from the guy just to be nice. I was gonna actually give him some money anyways, but then uh, I got the bracelets. 10,000 shillings, five dollars for two. We came to the beach for a bit and the sun is frying deeply. <laughs> really nice. I've been uh, actually getting a pretty good layer of uh, on my skin. <laughs> but I'm not burnt. I have a good tan now. Now I am uh, <laughs> homeless. I'm looking for a place to stay, but the Wi-Fi is really bad here, so... I haven't been able to book anything so far, but uh, that's my next mission. I'm sitting here on my phone looking for a hotel in Nungui. So um, I'll be heading over to Nungui, hopefully. Take a taxi over there. <laughs> now I was on my way up to the very north part of the island of Zanzibar. So the taxis are actually quite expensive here. Um, sorry, yes, it's camera. Yeah. Yes, that's me. How are you? Uh, good, how are you? No, you take a taxi, you want a taxi? So it's about a five minute ride and they want ten dollars for the ride, taxi ride, uh, twenty thousand, which is kind of weird. It's like I looked on the map, five minutes you could walk. Uh, it's not really worth it to take a taxi for ten dollars. But uh, I, I'm, I might, I'll probably take the taxi actually. Uh, twenty thousand for our currency is nothing. Ten dollars. It's more expensive. No, no, than no, Sweden. no. Ten dollar, like eighty dollar. No, ten dollar. Eighty dollar. Go to Amman, Bangalore. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you come from? I come from Stone Town. Like Stone Town. What's the bunda? Two more. Now come here for the sale. For the sale, to come here. I was in the taxi for ten dollars for a five-minute ride. Most of the roads and houses are quite run down on the whole island. Besides, from the resorts right on the beach. Okay. I had arrived to the beach again in an area called Nungui. The hotel was located right on the beach, but it turned out that it was fully booked. Should I make a reservation or should I just pay here? Yeah, whatever you want. Okay. 
One. So the other Amman hotel is uh, over here, about 500 meters, a bit more than a quarter of a mile. So I'm walking over there now. There were three hotels with the same name, so I had walked over to the other one that still had availability, just a bit out from the beach area. So here's the next place, uh, same price as the last one, $50 per night. And here we also have direct access to the swimming pool. So now we are in Nungui. Nungui. Uh, I will be going out and exploring also this place, of course, and uh, go down to the beach and uh, also jump, of course. And also you can jump from the other side here where you have breakfast. You have breakfast on the other side. You can also jump from there. We're gonna jump from both sides, of course. We're gonna be jumping from here into the swimming pool. However, however, it is quite shallow right here. It looks like it's only a few feet. But over here, it would have been better if I had the balcony there. I might have to sneak over to the neighbor and then jump from there into the swimming pool. You can stay really close to the beach for just $50 per night. We're gonna have to try the bed. It's been a long time since I tried the bed. But there are there are all wooden beds here. So they have no springs in them. Oh! A little bit bounce in this one. Uh, barely three stars. I think this would be two and a half stars out of five for the bed. The hotel room is pretty good, but the bed was not that good, even though the bed is quite soft. So tomorrow I'm finally going to Menemba Island. It's the most famous island here on the whole island <laughs> of Zanzibar. Uh, Bill Gates owns that island and there's also one of the best reefs outside of that island. So that will be really exciting. Oh, um, I fell asleep for a bit, but I'm so hungry. We have to go and eat something before it gets too late. So now we're gonna do a little flip, a little, a little flip from here into the swimming pool. I think the tricks are over for today and now we have to go and eat something and um, check out the beach also. So this is where I was gonna stay. It's much nicer here, it's the same price. But unfortunately it was fully booked. So I might come here in three days. You see here, it's much nicer.
can see the beach is much smaller here to, compared to Kendwa, where I recently spent a lot of time. So that's uh, one good thing about Kendwa compared to Nungui. Now it's also high tide. I'm sure the beach uh, uh, is a bit longer usually. It's 4 o'clock now and that's when the tide is at its highest. But uh, in the morning uh, it's like probably 20 or 30 meters further in. I will be eating something and then getting my snorkel to try to swim out. I think there might be a reef out here actually. So I was sitting at a restaurant right on the water and I was about to order some food. Yeah, yeah my name Where is Siri, but I do anything. When the Zanzibari, I love Zanzibari. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I ordered some uh, chicken with veggies and rice. Really good. And this view, you cannot complain about this view. <laughs> really amazing view. I don't think you can have a better view than this. I will be finishing my food and then um, going for a swim. And also I've noticed they don't seem to have much local food here. It's mostly um, like regular food, chicken, rice, um, some seafood also, but not much local food. The local food is like um, fries and grilled chicken that I had earlier when I was in Stone Town, further down the coast. We're gonna try the chicken and veggies. Pretty good, looks pretty good. Also got some kind of sauce here. I think it's some kind of curry sauce. We're gonna dip a bit. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Mm. Mm, nom, nom. I actually got two rice, I was so hungry. Mm, nom, nom. To be. I can't wait to cool off. Cool off when the food is so good. Oh. Mm. It was um, 20, I think 22,000 shielding. Like 11, 12 dollars for the food. It was really nice just to sit by the beach and look at the incredible scenery and also hear the waves coming into the shore. The sun was about to set and I had gone to get my snorkel to dive in and see what I could see under the surface. The visibility was really clear but nothing at the bottom besides sand. The water is pulling you a bit. I started over there and now I'm already here. Oh, it's pulling you sideways a bit but I can go in here luckily. The sun is going down and uh, it got a bit dark, I couldn't see all that much. But I think I will be going back. I'm going back home, I got a bit tired. <laughs> and uh, I also found out that they have this snorkeling trip that I've been speaking about forever now in my past videos too. So I will be doing that in the next video for sure this time. <laughs> um, yeah, well this is the end of the video, I'll be going back and uh, resting and then going to sleep. But thanks for watching, as always, if you liked the video, please leave it a thumbs up and post a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel.